Chicago streets. Our streets. Say our streets our and mean it. Right. Mean it. Whose streets? Our, our streets. streets.
inspiration that kept you, you know, on that track with music? Uh, we dropped the song, like our very first song together, like straight net. We dropped that. Like, the hood felt that. The hood felt it. So that was like motivation, like, you know what I'm saying? We can make music for the hood, we can make music for the world. Yeah. And like, and I look at it like, if this rapper can make a million, this rapper go on tour, I can too.
Spotify, iCloud, you name it, it's on there. YouTube, Google Play, Amazon, it's everywhere. For sure, for sure. So going into that, that's that's distribution right there. So when it came down to you know learning the, the business aspect of the game, you feel me? How was that for you? What, what what were some of the challenges? And now what are some of the benefits that you're starting to see? You know from just running the business aspect of the music game. Uh, uh when I first started, I just thought you know what I'm saying, just put music on YouTube, you know. What not the case may be in there. Someone sat me down and was like, you know, you actually you can get paid for this, for your plays and stuff like that, though. So, you know what I'm saying? I learned to do distro kid and looking at how the rest of your music going to be on mine and things that, like, you can really get a cent, a few cents for every spin, your, your record played and things like that. Though. That was something I was into instead of, like, you know, nothing against free music, but they going to pay the spinning. For sure. Hey, the hustle ain't um, free. For sure, for sure. So, what do you think music taught you like about like investing? You feel me? Um, gotta invest in yourself and take money because you want you want want good quality. But I good quality, ain't nobody gonna take you serious. Your music don't sound right, but I good quality. So like, if uh, they can't. Hear your music good. If, if it don't sound good in the speaker they playing on, they gonna cut it off no matter what you saying or how good you rapping or whatever the case may be. If it don't sound good, don't nobody wanna hear that. So I say invest in yourself, invest in the quality. The videos too, well now, cause that 4K, 6K is real now. You know what I'm saying? People wanna be able to see good, good quality how it is on TVs and movies nowadays. So you gotta gotta get the right cameraman nowadays and you know so. Investing in yourself. For sure, for sure. So, who were some of your biggest influences? Um, well, you said your outside influence as far as like you know friends, you know stuff like that. But in the music industry, who were some of your biggest influences? When, uh, as far as when it came to you know just want to perfect your craft, or like you like just looking towards like just as a, like a blueprint of how to you know how you want to perfect your craft, or you know make you know like make you know like make your own sound and make your own you know noise in the uh, industry. I'm a I'm a old school cat, so I'll be keeping it original. I'll be looking at, you know, some Master P. See how he you know what I'm saying, how him and No Limit did how, you know what I'm saying, how they started from scratch and did everything on their own. So I'll be looking at some P and just be trying to like learn like the aspect how he came into the game or how he made a name for himself and he didn't have to like cross over or do nothing and to sell millions of records and still be a figure now. So that's real. That's real. That's real. Be one, real. Of, be one of the guys I looked at, and to be able to like do it all where you shoot your own movie and you have your own. That's your own production. Your own. You know what I'm saying? Your own this and this and that. So you basically get everything back from when you put it out, no matter what. So it ain't an air when it's ownership. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it ain't a hell with his ownership. He done put out, what, multiple albums, multiple movies, you know what I'm saying? Have his own soundtrack. So, like, you know, he really did a lot of things where it's his name behind it with his name putting it, his project and his stuff out. Yeah. So now, like, you know, like, going back into, like, uh, you know, childhood, you feel me, your hometown, uh, West Tampa, um, kind of chime in about that, man. Like, what what was it like growing up in West Tampa? Like, what is West Tampa like? For those, you know, for those of the listeners that, you know, and those uh, who gonna be watching that ain't from there, like, what was it like? Uh, shit, West Tampa probably like how every, every little hood a ghetto was, you know what I'm saying? It's really like, I mean... I know it's some you, things that make, you know, West Tampa, West Tampa, though. It's, it's, I'll put it like this. Life is how you make it or what you want it to be. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. You can jump in this and do this and that. Or you can stay in this and do that. You know what I'm saying? So it's really how you want it to be that. Oh, rough how people be want to make it be 
see like how they kind of grew up and what not. You know what I mean? yeah. It's how you make it, where you make it out of West Ham. Ain't no high crime rate, ain't no high murder rate, so ain't no really going on like that in West Tampa. For sure, for sure. So, um, I seen that you have been doing uh like work in the community. Can you kind of chime in on that? Like, how are you giving back to the community? I'll be giving back to the community, but I'll be trying to educate, motivate, and encourage the youth to do better. So, you know what I'm saying? They can be whatever they want to be in life. You ain't got to be what others want you to be. You can be whatever. An actor, singer, lawyer, doctor, whatever you want to be, you can do it. For sure, for sure. Do you, do you got any, like, current works in the community that you do, like... Um, I got a non-profit organization called Wagon. You got respect to them giving for your dreams. Oh, dope, dope, dope. Chime in on that. Um, you can't just put that out there like it was nothing. You can't just keep <laughs> that that real subtle. You know, I got non-profit, you know. <laughs> man, chime in on that, man. That's, hey, congrats, man, congrats. Most definitely, man. I appreciate that. It was just something I was thought about that. Um, by me going to college and stuff, that I basically, like, opened a door up. Uh, like being a positive influence to the youth, to kids, and I could like show them and tell them that like you can go to school from West, being from West Tampa, being wherever you from, you can make it out. You can go somewhere and be something. You know what I'm saying? I didn't play high school sports or whatnot, and I still was able to go to college. So if you believe in yourself and you know what I'm saying, you got the right support system and you consistent, hard work and dedication. You know what I'm saying? You can do it. And that's something I be trying to, you know what I'm saying, put in the kids' head that they can do it no matter what. You're not too short. You're not too, too, you know what I'm saying, too small. You're not too slow. You can do it. You know what I'm saying? And it's not just a D1. It's a D2, D3, NAI, JUCO. You know what I'm saying? Try to tell them that they ain't got to just sit. You know what I'm saying? Put one apple in one bunch and think that this is that. Nah, you can do a lot. There's so much you can do. And you got to open your mind and think. Like, you know what I'm saying? Open your mind and think about what you can do. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I can do it. And I want to be that one. Go ahead. Uh, I was just going to say, like, if somebody want to help support, you know, your non-profit and what you're trying to do, how would they, uh, you know, get in contact with you and, you know, make that happen? Well, I got to, um, well, I got to I got work on on Instagram, Facebook. I don't have a Twitter. But, yeah, you can look me up on Facebook and um, Instagram. Like, why God? Why die? So you heard that? Go ahead and tap in. What you got going on? Yeah. For sure, for sure. So you know, on you know the next topic I kind of want to touch on, man. I, I hear the baby in the background, man. You feel me? So is that yours? Is that your kid? Yeah, yeah that's my little. Okay. I got a, uh, I got a one year old daughter named Overeen Evans. For sure, for sure. So how is that experience? You feel me? Fatherhood has been for you. Uh, and I love it, man. You know what I'm saying? By like being a father, it's like because that's how she was put to sleep when she got out. <laughs>